There's a mystery unfolding at Cranberry Elementary. When students returned to school, their beloved mascot, Cooper the Cougar, was missing. Our school has been trying to figure out where Cooper has been. He's been traveling in the United States, learning about all kinds of cool facts, landmarks, and collecting things along the way, which he's been sending back to our school. He's been South Dakota, Wyoming, Mon uh, Montana, Washington. From postcards and packages to photos and even rock samples, Students have been using Cooper's souvenirs for hands-on learning in geography, Illinois, Indiana, U.S. history, science, and math, with a little help along the way. The whole school is kind of wrapped up in this one mystery. We just left a class that is trying to track his route uh, distance-wise to see how many miles he may have covered. It's very multidisciplinary, collaborative uh, type of effort uh, that brings kind of in that, that, that synergy between the, the sciences and the arts and the language arts and the history. And, in one potential postcard, you can have math, you can have spelling and punctuation, you can have landmarks and history. No matter where you were on campus, the buzz was all about Cooper. The questions surrounding Cooper's whereabouts even made it to physical education and art classes, where students were drawing pictures of cacti that Cooper sent to them. Uh, in these events, what we find is the students don't know they're learning. Um, they think they're working to help a friend out or find this friend in this case. Um, we just left a classroom where a young girl was doing distance and math and calculating uh, the area he might have covered in miles and they're, they're calculating what landmarks he may have seen. Um, she was elated that she was doing this assignment because she's supposed to be doing math. Um, so and, and by and large, she's doing math, which is great. It's been a really great way to teach some of the standards that we would normally teach, but in a really fun and captivating way. Events like this are made possible thanks to grants provided by the Education Foundation. Their support for our schools makes a big difference. Having the Ed Foundation help support us has been amazing because we've had shark's teeth sent to us that they've helped us get and acquire. We've had them send rock samples and mineral samples and postcards. They were able to just come through and get them for us real quick and easy. Thankfully, Cooper made it back in time for a school-wide celebration, much to the delight of the students. Hands-on experiences like this make learning fun, which leads to higher information retention and greater student success. I'm glad Cooper's back in school and supporting the students, and I will see you soon. North Carolina, Georgia, Louisiana, and Florida.